Okay, guys, this is Kevin with The Knife Doctor. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're tuning in. Thank y'all for being here. I really appreciate it. I'm going to be doing a project that I got in the mail while I was gone this morning. It's going to be quick and easy. And I'm going to be showing you a piece of equipment I bought up there at Georgia Bushcraft. So uh, we're going to be putting some wax on it. And I'm going to be showing you the knife that I'm going to be carrying in this knife sheath uh, this week to commemorate a, uh, a, a cherished the holiday that's coming up. And we'll get into that after we repair the knife. Alright, I got this in the mail while I was gone. Anything I'm cutting on. Spyco. You know, once I repair it, I'm going to be carrying it for a little while. Take this little beauty out. Look at the, the handle there. It's my favorite color. Green. I'm going to be cleaning all of this up. And look, it's got a broke tip. So... What we're gonna have to do is come down. I like to maintain that edge. It's still a little too, man. They've been abusing this knife. I might have to come up some, just that right there, and come down. They're gonna have to meet. Now I'm gonna put a new edge on it because it's dull. I can tell you right now, Spyderco would be embarrassed on this knife here. You see, it's uh, Spyderco. It's got the Siki City, Japan. Be a good little knife. A little thumb uh, grip right there. To cut. Use it like that. Like that. So let's get to it. turned out good I'm going to hit it with my sh my sharpener but it's got a fairly good edge on, on it as you can see there she is a new edge a new point sharp too now now we're going to clean the the handle up with the wire wheel brush. I'm having an issue here. It's got two screws on both sides. This flat tip will fit up inside there, but it's hard to hold them at the same time. Got it on there. I got it. How about that? A little ingenuity to all it took. Now we're gonna put the clip back on. See, it's got them little grooves and it just slides right down behind there. Okay, now the never dull treatment. That's some good stuff. Okay, we're going to get back to the Spyderco at the end of the video. I'm going to tell you what kind it is and all that. Um, but 
I'm gonna show you a sheath that I bought at the Georgia Bushcraft, and I'm gonna show you the knife that's gonna be commemorating a national holiday in my book, most important one of the year. I'm gonna show you that knife that I'm gonna be wearing in this sheath. And this is the sheath. I know it looks confusing, but I'll show you how it works. But we're fixing to apply this uh, Mama's Outback leather wax that I bought up there too. But uh, this is the company I bought this from. It's a, it's a young man with his wife and kid was up there and he does, he actually designed this. And uh, he's a young man, but look at the quality work that he did. He was also selling this wax, but he's from Ohio, but that's his company. Um, great guy, this wasn't but $15. But I'm fixing to apply this wax here. And uh, and it's gonna gonna tan it up some. Might finish that wax job. I'm gonna buff it out some. That's good. And here's the knife. It is a lot back seven. And the holiday is the Marine Corps birthday. How about that? Ain't that a great looking knife? This was to, uh, in honor of the 200th anniversary of the United States Marine Corps. And this year, the Marine Corps will be 248 years old. So this knife is 48 years old this year. How about that? It's almost as old as I am. I'm 53. You see it's a lot back seven, USA, Uncle Henry Schrade. It means this knife was made in 1975. I'm fixing to clean it up and shine all this pretty brass up. It's gonna be a beautiful knife to carry. And I'll show you how the sheath works when I get done cleaning it up. Alright guys, this here, this here is a Spyderco Dragonfly with its own green color. And it's made to look that way, kind of like a camouflage. But the point turned out good. Got a nice new edge on it and it's good and sharp. I'm going to be carrying this for a little while. Good, good looking knife. You really can't even tell it was broke. That's what I love to do, guys. I bought this off of eBay for 35 bucks. The shipping was free. Good looking knife now. Awesome. And this one here cleaned up really good too. See the brass? Look at that eagle globe and anchor on there. It's been carried some. You can tell by the scratches on the brass. But it is a beautiful knife. The Marine Corps come alive on November 10th, 1775 at Tun Tavern, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. How this works is the belt goes over the sheath into the hole. And it goes all the way back. Wherever you want to wear it. I'll show you how to deploy the knife in a minute once I get my belt on. I thought this was a wonderful design because the older sheath sticks on the outside and it's big and bulky and it just hangs and it gets in the way. This one here, you can't even tell I got a knife on, on me. See here, when you go to deploy the knife, it's got a window down here. Push up, pull out, and use the knife. You can use it on a buck 110, any kind of knife made like this, or any kind of, of, of pocket knife that had a fit in that sheath. But he made, he, he made it for his buck 110, and I absolutely love it. When you, get, you just stick it back down in the hole there. See, you just got that window, you just 
push it up, pull it out. That simple. You push it back down in there. Well, guys, this video has been fun. I got to do a, a, a repair, and I got to show you new equipment. I got to clean up a beautiful knife. And I can't wait to wear these today. Um, I just want to thank y'all guys for tuning in today. I appreciate all the support. Um, but I'm going to just give you a heads up. Um, I'm going to be giving two more items away for the, uh, the knife giveaway because I'm, I'm getting close to 2,000 subscribers. Uh, so I'm going to be giving two more items away tomorrow evening. I'm going to go ahead and tell you the time is going to be 6 p.m. tomorrow sharp. I'm going live. I'm going to draw the knife. If you miss it, don't worry about it. It's going to be posted. I'm giving three items away. One's that buck 503 made in the USA. And the two other I items I picked up at the uh, the Bushcraft, the Georgia Bushcraft event. So uh, I'll be giving those two items away tomorrow at 6 p.m. Y'all be sure to tune in. Also, a quick announcement. I got a post office box now. It's the Knife Doctor post office box. 572 Ellaville, Georgia, 31806. I've been having some requests for uh, an address. Uh, they want to send me some knives uh, that for to use for spare parts or that needs to be repaired. Uh, if I can use them in a video, I will. And, uh, and if I can use them for spare parts, I sure will. I can always use spare parts for, for repairs, but I appreciate it. I really do, guys. Also, I'm including an email and the post office box in the description of the video down below. And until we meet again, y'all be like a good knife. Stay sharp.